welcome to a new video. Today I'm very excited to be sharing with you the brand new Light Elegance Fall Autumn, whatever you call it, wherever you're from, I call it Autumn, 2020 collection. I am super excited for this collection. Um, I have not looked at the colours, they are still sealed up in the box so i'm going to open them up now i have seen some promo pics but they are just of like shots of the um pots so i don't know what these colors actually look like going on so these are going to be proper like first impression um stuff going on i'm just going to open this up now um, and these were sent very kindly by Sweet Squared, who are the UK distributor for Light Elegance. Um, I've not been asked to make this video, I'm not being paid to make this video, um, but just wanted to give a shout out to them because they did very kindly send them to me. So we have them here all nicely bubble wrapped. I'm very excited. I'm excited because there's one particular colour in here that we've been waiting for for a long old time. So here is the packaging and I'm so excited. Can you guess which colour I am most excited for that we've been waiting for for ages? <laughs> oh, they've kind of all fallen out. Hang on. Okay, so they're not they're not sitting in the we'll just scrap the tray. They're not sitting in the tray. The gaps are bigger in the tray than the pot, so they're sliding around. But here we have the new colours. So straight away a couple of them look different on the top of the pots to what I was expecting them to be from the promo shot. So it's gonna be interesting to see what they actually look like. Uh, the one I'm most excited for is Hear Me Raw, which is yellow, which we haven't had in buttercream yet. And I've been desperate for yellow because I love buttercreams for nail art, um, but we have not had a yellow. So I've had to use gel paint, but we've either got like neon or pastel and sometimes those tones don't really work. So I'm so excited for this. Um, but yeah, looks like we've got a bit of a mixture going on. And yeah, like I say, a couple of them don't quite look on the top how I thought they would. So it'd be interesting to see what they look like when they're swatched. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now switch the camera view to my desk um, and I'm going to open each pot swatch it and then do some comparisons. I'm gonna do the comparisons for each color. Normally I do all of the swatches and then all of the comparisons, but I'm gonna do it kind of as I go this time. So let me know if you prefer that um, format or whether you like the comparisons to be at the very end for all of the colors. But anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling and we'll get on and check out these brand new buttercream colors. Okay, so here we have the box i thought i would just show you this as a close-up before i get showing you the individual colors so what do we think it's a very interesting collection i think for autumn but anyway let's let's get cracking so i am gonna go first with let's monkey around and I'm gonna have to take these foils off. Oh, okay. That is not, do you know what? I'm gonna grab my iPad because I've got like the official descriptions and I wanna see if what I describe them as is similar to what they describe them as. Right, so I'm gonna give you my take on it from the pot. I'm gonna swatch it, and then I'm gonna read their description and see see if there's any differences. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, guys. My, um, my camera shut off. So I would call this, so this is still the same color. This is Let's Monkey Around. I think this is definitely gonna be better with two coats. So I'm gonna do two thin coats. 
and I would call this a mushroom brown. I would call it, the reason I'm saying mushroom is because I do think it's got a bit of a like grey plummy tone to it, but it's definitely virgin on the brown side of things. So I'm going to pop that in and then do a second coat. Okay, so second coat and I really love this colour. This is definitely the kind of colour that I would wear. Guys, I'm so sorry, my camera died as I was doing the second coat because I ran out of memory on the memory card. So <laughs> here we are with two coats. So I would definitely call this like a mushroom, plummy, brownie. One of them kind of colors that's quite hard to describe, but I really, really like. So this is it kind of next to my skin tone. So it looks a bit darker on the camera, I think. If I up the exposure, does it look? Looks a little bit more true there. So the description from my elegance, um, a rich brown taupe, a creamy brown with a light hint of purple undertone. So yeah, pretty much not far off how I described it. So yeah, loving this color, very wearable, um, just one of those real classic autumnal colors. So I'm very happy with that one. Righty, let's compare, let's monkey around to some other colours. So I am most intrigued to see what it looks like with these ones. So Now and Zen is a buttercream, the other three are colour gels, but I just wanted to see how they compare to that because these were all kind of the muted grey plummy tones so you can see they're not alike at all in fact it makes those look quite purple so my next thought is maybe earl grey let's have a look okay and straight away i know that this is not going to be anything I like, but I will show you. And also, come one, come all. So these are both colour gels, but just gives you another reference for colour. So Earl Grey is this one, come one, come all. And definitely not similar. Just for reference, uh, do we have any of the new ones on here that are anything like it? So just for reference from the autumn color gel collection this is simmer down and i clove you and hopefully it's not too dark you can see I'll tell you what guys i'm having technology issues today so simmer down and i clove you again not anything alike there is literally nothing like this color so that's cool and the next one i'm gonna go for is wannabe my Tarzan, which is this one. Now, this one from the promo shorts to me looks white, so I don't know. And here it looks a little bit more creamy nude. So let's see what this one looks like. Okay, so. It does actually, when I opened it, I thought, yeah, it looks white, but actually it does near enough match the label on the top. So I would call this a cream to me, um, like a stone cream. So let's have a look and see. So just make sure with the buttercreams that you agitate them. So just make sure you give them a nice little stir up with your brush just to get them nice and fluid that's going to give you the best um, pigmentation and coverage let's see how this one swatches okay i'm going to put my glove behind it because it's just blending in with the white background and i'm just going to turn the exposure down a little bit now 
So on the camera, I think it looks white. And if I put it next to the paper, it definitely makes it look white on the camera. But it's definitely an off-white. So that's a really nice one. It definitely goes on in one coat, which is really nice, especially for something that is like quite white in pigment. And I would call this a cream. It's like the cream that you would paint walls. It's, um, we don't really have anything like this in the collection so far, like with the other butter creams. And actually I would say the same about Let's Monkey Around. We have some other kind of taupey, plummy colors but I don't think there's anything that's as brown as that one is. So this is wannabe my Tarzan. And if I have a look at their description now, it is a cream bone white. This color is not white and not tan, but the perfect in between of the two. So yeah, I nailed it with my description. So there we go, very nice. So a bit more flattering than white, I would say, because whites are always quite popular, although white's always popular in the summer. So it'd be interesting to see that one, how it gets used. But I think potentially with like combination sets, it could look very nice. Let's do comparisons for Wanna Be My Tarzan. I'm just gonna grab, so there's a few things I'd like to compare this to. Um, one is Female Fabulous because it's an off-white and I don't think we have anything in the new, we don't have anything in the Spice collection that's anything like this so I'm not going to compare anything there. So here we have um, Female and Fabulous, Talk Dirt to Me which is a colour gel a lot of gelato which is a colour gel, cream no sugar which is a colour gel and at the altar which is another buttercream. So I would say it's somewhere between Female and Fabulous and Talk Dirt to me. It's kind of creamier than this one but whiter than this one. Sits somewhere in between. So which one should I grab now? I'm going to go for On the Prowl which on the lid kind of looks like a muted raspberry colour, but on the promo it definitely looks like a bright red. So let's see how this one... Oh, where's my little... Oh, what's happened here? I've lost the, the little bit that... Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, okay. So this looks totally different to what I thought it was gonna look like. <laughs> this looks totally different and I think it is coming off on camera okay, which is great. So in the promo, it looks like a bright red, but I would call this like a, it's like a muted red raspberry color. It's really nice, very interesting, very different again, uh, which is great. Let's get it onto a colour pop. So we'll just give it, give it a little swirl again. I think it's coming off ever so slightly brighter on the camera. It's almost like, I don't know. It's like it's got like, it's like a clay red, if that even makes any sense. So this is definitely going to be a one coat, uh, Sorry, this is definitely going to be two coats, which is quite normal for a red, I would say. But I'm still not sure whether I call it a red or a pink, but I'm going to go in with the second coat. This is a really interesting colour. I don't think I've ever seen a color like this before so 
So definitely two coats for this one, which is on the prowl. So here is on the prowl. I definitely think it's coming off a little bit brighter in the camera. Let me see with it next to my skin tone. Now it looks a little bit darker than it does in person. So I'm intrigued to see their description. Their description is a dusty brick red, which is a pretty good description, I would say. Um, you could almost call this cream red a neutral. That's kind of what I mean when I say like a clay kind of undertone is that it is like a neutral. It's really weird, um, but in a good way. Um, it's not a loud red, not as dark as a brick, but the perfect warm, dusty red. I would almost say this is like the red version of Rosy Posy. So if you love Rosy Posy and you want something a little bit different, then this could be perfect because Rosy Posy is kind of that dusty pink and you know, like we've got inhale, exhale now as well. That's really nice. Um, Giddy Girl is kind of in that where it's like a dusty pink. So this is almost, I would call it the red rosy posy. So yeah, very, very nice. Let's compare on the prowl to some other colors. Now I, I kind of know straight away that there isn't gonna be anything similar, but let's just have a look at it with some other reds. I don't even know what reds to, okay. So it's definitely more muted. I would say it's maybe depth wise, it sits alongside first class and those two would actually look lush together. And Chillin' and Chilli as well looks really nice. And then these are obviously much darker. So it definitely is a color all of its own. I did just want to compare it next to maybe some pinky colors. Um, just because I felt like it had a little bit of that like raspberry tone to it. So Giddy Girl, so it does, this is a weird color guys, because when you put it next to red, it definitely looks red. And when you put it next to pink, it kind of looks a little bit pinky. So again, they would actually look really nice together. Uh, where is Rosie Posy? Because I wanted to show you my kind of thinking. Okay, so when you hold it next to Rosie Posy, when you hold it next to Rosie Posy, um, oh, this is inhale, exhale, but that's also another good comparison. There we go, so. Here we go, so we have Rosie Posy, inhale, exhale, and on the prowl. And can you see they've all kind of got that really similar undertone? So they've all got this kind of muted thing going on. This one is more mauve, this one is more pink, and this one is more red. I like it a lot. And let me just see if there's anything from Spice Collection. Um, I'm gonna pull out Simmer Down for sure. So you can see, here's Simmer Down, which is definitely, kind of looks more purpley next to that. Um, cinnamon sticks, holy habanero, and curry on. So again, those two would look really nice. So this is gonna be a super versatile color and it's gonna look great with so many different things. So loving it. Kidoki, the next one I'm going to look at is Jane of the Jungle. This is another one I'm looking forward to purely because it's green. Um, and the lid looks a little bit different to what I thought it was gonna be. So let's see what it looks like. I'm expecting kind of like an army green. Oh, oh, this is way nicer than I thought in my head. I mean, I love green, so it was always gonna be a winner. But, um, oh, this is so nice. It's got a bit of a, I don't know whether I want to say a grey undertone because it's definitely not grey, it is green, but oh, I love this colour, I love it already. So I'm going to get this onto a colour pot so I can see what it actually looks like. Please excuse my brush, I've just made a total mess, I've just splodged the whole brush into the pot. 
So that's what not to do. Um, I think this one is going to go on better in two coats again. This is really nice. It's, again, it's kind of a muted green. I'm really liking the, um, the theme that they've got going with these colours. So that's going to go in the lamp. I honestly don't really know how to describe this green. It's kind of like a mid green. It's a bit of a dirty green. <laughs> what I mean by that is it's not like super bright. Um, it's not um, blue toned. It's definitely green, but it just feels very wearable. It's almost like so those of you that have been around for a while, don't be chai. That was like a massive hit back in the day and that was kind of like a bluey, um, muted, grey kind of colour and I feel like this is the green version. I like it. It's kind of like a sage green but darker. So I would love a sage green, just putting it out there. Um, this is a bit darker than that. Maybe it's a mix between a sage green and an army green. Nice, pop that in the lamp to cure. So here we have Jane of the Jungle. You can see that the swatch is a little bit different to the top of the lid. Um, and to be honest, both are quite different to what I thought they were going to be. Um, let's just have a look at it next to my skin tone. It's coming off a bit darker on the camera than what it is in real life. And what do they say? The perfect camouflage green, a milky cream hunter green. If green could be neutral, this would be it. I think that's a perfect description because kind of like I was saying with that whole kind of muted, I really like this. That's what I would say so far with these colors, they're kind of muted versions of another color, which is gonna make all of these colors so wearable. So, um, yeah, I am loving it. I am very intrigued to see this one compared to other greens. So let's try Jane of the Jungle with some other shades and see where it fits in. So yeah, it's literally like nothing. <laughs> literally like nothing else. Um, it's, I guess, like a lighter version of Ringmaster, which is a color gel and can you kind of see what I mean? Like that's Don't Be Chai, which is kind of a muted bluey green. And they kind of got that similar tone going on and they would look really nice together. Um, it's definitely lighter than Taiwan on in Taiwan. Looks really nice with hair up heels on. I love that combo, that looks really lush. And then these ones are just a bit more blue toned and then we've got the primer green gel paint. So. Um, yeah, but those two together is lush. So the next one, do you know what? I can't wait anymore. I'm gonna go for Hear Me Roar. So let's open this one up. Ooh. Cool. So this is, to be honest, this is exactly what I expected from this colour. It looks very much like the promo shots. It is a, I would say like a real primary yellow. It's like the perfect yellow. It's not super bright. It's not mustardy, which I know a lot of people love mustard, but this is perfect because for me, when I'm thinking of using yellow for a buttercream, I'm thinking nail art, and this is gonna be the perfect tone for the kind of things that I would use yellow for, which is like in the center of flowers and things. So I am very, very happy with this choice of yellow. Let's get it on a color pop and see how it applies. So 
So again, I think this is definitely going to be two coats, but I would also say that's not necessarily surprising with a yellow. And you know, it's kind of got a bit of, I don't want to say transparency because it is a buttercream, but I reckon if you wanted to make this brighter, it'd be interesting to see what it would look like if you did say a layer of white underneath it um, and it might make it pop and make it a little bit brighter. So it'd be interesting to see what that would look like. So second coat. Definitely makes it more creamy. kind of get the first layer looks like it's going to be mega bright and then the second layer kind of tones it down a little bit nice very nice and here we have hear me raw and i love this color it's so nice it's going to be so perfect for nail art it's not too bright either I think it's interesting having a yellow in an autumn collection um, because I kind of envisage using yellow a bit more in the summer but it is a nice and actually when you put it next to my skin tone it definitely I'm gonna be honest it's got a bit of a mustardy tone it doesn't look like it in the pot but when it's next to your skin it does definitely look a little bit more mustardy which I guess is very on trend with autumn fashion so this may be a um this may be a little bit of a a different one for this time of the year but actually it could be very popular so let's see what they say this cream yellow is not mustard and not sunshine it's right in between neutral mustard that has a vibrancy to it cool so they've definitely mentioned mustard and like I say, now it's on the tip and I'm putting it next to my skin tone, it definitely looks more mustardy, but it's not, it's not like harsh mustard because for me, mustard yellow, like true mustard, I it makes me look ill. Whereas this actually is really flattering against my skin, so I like it. Right, let's compare Hear Me Raw to some other yellows that we have. Now, obviously we don't have a yellow buttercream, but I'm gonna compare it to the color gels that we have. So here we have Sun Kiss. This was from the spring collection. We have Sun Bum, which looks, I think on the camera, it looks the same. In reality, it doesn't look the same. Sun Bum is definitely more of a sunny yellow and Hear Me Raw has got a little bit more of that mustard tone. Now, maybe if you've got one and you're not interested in nail art, then maybe you would be okay with some bum. Um, but for me, I need a yellow in, in buttercream, so I'm very happy to have this. And then Yellow Jacket is way more neon. It makes, makes Hear Me Raw look like proper mustard yellow. And then the last color, but definitely not least, is show me your spots and this in the promo looks black <laughs> so i'm going to be interested to see what it actually looks like and what the color actually is ah i to find that bit oh okay this is this is right up my alley so basically, have Light Elegance made this collection for me because I feel like maybe they have. <laughs> because this is my favorite kind of color for autumn, winter. I cannot wait to get this on. So, sorry, I'm getting carried away because I'm so excited. Um, this is the darkest plum. I love super rich, dark colors. Um, for autumn winter especially autumn because I think it's a real nice contrast to when you've been having like the bright colors through the summer and then you go straight to a dark plum I uh, love it 
so this is definitely going to be better in two coats but these kind of colors generally are it's definitely a purple plum so there isn't that red tone it is proper purple plum this reminds me and i can't remember what it was called this reminds me of a color that i used to love when i worked for nails ink when i was like 18 and i loved it right i'm going to pop that in ready for the second coat so first coat cured in with the second i am obsessed with this color i'm gonna have real trouble deciding which color to use first from this collection because they are all flipping lush and i know some of you love the pinks but i am so happy that we have a collection that doesn't have pinks because i am not a pink person so that's what i mean when i say like was this collection made for me it feels like this collection was made for me <laughs> because it is just my kind of colors for autumn it's amazing so show me your spots this is the kind of color that i just love plain all over just one color um maybe a few crystals but i probably wouldn't even do that i just love those real dark almost black tones um i just love them so let's have a look at the swatch stick so show me your spots it's a hundred percent darker than the label on the top of the jar and let's see it next to my skin tone yes this is definitely going on my nails at some point so let's see what they say about show me your spots a deep dark black purple if you like dark colors with a little bit of personality then this sophisticated cream purple is for you yep love it it is definitely for me okay so let's compare show me your spots to some other colors i love these kind of colors but i'm not sure if we have something that's similar so let's have a compare now i think on the camera these are all gonna look the same so i'm gonna kind of describe the differences so buttercream wise we have finding tranquility finding tranquility is more of an inky um blue so definitely not like that one the other purple that we have is persian plum now these i would say are fairly comparable however i think when you have the skin tone underneath these are on clear tips i think that show me your spots is going to look a lot darker persian plum is definitely more of like that real purple color and show me your spots i think when it's on the nails it's going to definitely look more of that kind of almost black i think the nearest to these is going to be cup of ambition and meandering in moscow cup of ambition i would say is very comparable um so it's really just your choice as to whether you prefer a buttercream or a color gel application but i do think the tone is slightly different um maybe if you were like a customer you probably wouldn't notice the difference but when you're a plum connoisseur like me you can see the difference so there you have it that is the mighty jungle autumn buttercream collection for 2020 from light elegance as i say a huge thank you to sweet squared for sending me these colors and i've got to say i love this collection i honestly feel like this was made for me and i don't know what i'm going to use first because i love them all so i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more soon Take care and I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks guys, bye.